Alright. So what I made in my last video about the hide and seek comps. There are so many comments. Asking or asking about the video or for me to make a video about squeezing. And to be honest, I'm not not really sure why. Because these are kind of boring weapon to me. Like it is or it was like top like three things to I guess if you're on a I don't know if I say top three. I would say top three. It, it kinda held the game together. Or it was like the defining central point of the game for like a while. Like you, everything like revolved around are you using squeezer and if you're not are you prepared to deal with a squeezer when you find one? Or is it just gonna destroy your comp? And its characteristics as a gun, it's just like, okay, it's a shooter. But, but yeah, it, it's just a shooter. I don't know. Like, broken shooters are kind of boring to talk about. They're not like really like, they're just safe. They're very safe. This weapon is extremely safe. But it's also very mobile, and uh, you know it has perfect accuracy at nearly fucking jet sculpture range. So that's uh, that was the problem with this guy, right? So like the meta comp was all around squeezer. At one point, there was neo splash squeezer, and so. Except, I'm kind of lying. It wasn't this. It was ladder shot. This was the comp that was right. But there's a significant problem with this comp. It's actually not that significant, to be honest, or it wasn't back then. Um. So problems started to arise in this comp because all right, your special lineup is cooler, Kuzuka, strike. This weapon literally sees so little play, but this weapon is the entire reason that this stuff started to get ruined. This comp was just farming area cups for so long. Then in scrims, people started to play this. Started to play edit the junior. It was edit junior squeezer, and honestly, I'm kind of forgetting the last guy. To be honest, I'm not sure if it was just bucket. I think it was just bucket. To be honest, I'm not a thousand percent sure on that, but I'm pretty sure it was just bucket. So then this comp started to beat this one because they're on the squeezer comp. When the bubble goes up, if the bucket doesn't have strikes, that's just kind of GG. Pencil doesn't do a lot of damage to bubble. Neither does squeezer, nor does Zuka. And this was before this like another the other bubble buffs came in that just made Zuka legit irrelevant versus it. Like, yeah, this is when the Zuka would, like, maybe the third shot would go through if it took damage from other stuff. But it would 100% block one Zuka. And this weapon wasn't getting that many Zukas in the first place. It was kind of just making the splatter shot obsolete. And that's where Neo Splash comes in. And that's what I'm actually talking about. I'm not actually talking about Squeezer. But I had to talk about Squeezer to mention Neo Splash. This is kind of enabled this stuff that was going on with it. Uh, that's where this weapon came in. And now, now the bucket no longer has to waste its strikes, or I don't want to say waste, but the bucket no longer has to trade off its strikes on the junior's dome every time. So, the Zookas can get value. So now the Neo Splash can do it. Which let the lets the bucket play more freely and uses strikes for just like capping zone or just like holding the enemy team back. But it also had the secondary effect of this thing paints significantly more than Splatter Shot. It may not 
seem like it, but it definitely does. Because it never stops pinging. When the splatter shot wants to zuka, it has to stop shooting. When splatter shot wants to go take a fight or be slightly more aggressive, it's not really painting everything behind. And while those are fine things to do, when you're fighting against a comp that has core of edit and junior, any time that this thing wasn't helping or helping in the paint upkeep, uh if bubble came out at the same time, shit would start to go bad, to be honest. Because pencil paints a lot. Yeah. But again, like I said before, it paints a lot over like a zone. It doesn't just like pan its camera across the entire map and paint everything. But Neo Splash does. Neo Splash does, and it never stops. Because when Neo Splash gets its special, it just throws its three paint nukes and starts painting again. And it's not great at fighting, so it's never going to be doing that. So then this comp start is just getting destroyed because, okay, its main gimmick, which I, I would probably call this a gimmick, it didn't really stay long, around for that long, like the junior stuff. Uh, the main gimmick with it was that the bubble would beat the Zookas. Well, you're not beating Squeezer, or like you don't beat Squeezer by beating its Zooka, you beat it by like beating its mates and forcing it to like retake because it's really bad at doing that. Suddenly it's not bad at retaking anymore because it has two chances. It has two strike guys. And this thing can definitely get multiple strikes on a retake attempt. So then this comp went away. This uh yeah, this stuff, it stopped getting played. And then this was de facto the best thing for a while. Because this gun does everything, as I mentioned before. And Neo Splash enables that. This is the phenomenal pairing. You have a weapon that doesn't need help in terms of fighting. It just beats everything. As, as long as it's set up with paint, it just wins its duels. Because it's a three shot, it has insane range, more range than every other midline, as a wall. So while, again, it can't get in by itself, once it is in, it's just set up for success. It just has wall. So you just enable it, and then it beats everything because it has wall, and the gun is over too. Kind of sounds familiar to another weapon that I mentioned last video that has wall and is also over two. Which brings me to my next point. Or my main point, in all honesty. I don't think that Neo Splash should be the default for every comp. I think this weapon exists in a... Before, before Squeezer was nerfed and Squeezer was in every comp, I think it was too... It was too popular to the point where it got in everyone's head that this is just the weapon that you should play no matter what you're playing as your support shooter. And we like forgot the reason that it was picked in the first place was to start beating bubble because it would just strike the bubble repeatedly. And it didn't matter that you had two guns that kind of like couldn't fight at all or fight or fought really poorly because Junior fights really poorly, but Neo's wise also fights really poorly. But Junior's whole thing is the gimmick of I put up bubble. And if it can't succeed in its gimmick, then it's just kind of useless. You're just fighting a 4v3 at that point. So that was fine. It was fine to have a Neo Splash then. Because that's all it did. Or it just countered their gimmick. So it didn't matter that this weapon is like quote unquote weak at fighting. It doesn't like do things with its like teammates. It only just hard enables them. Because it was enabling its squeezer while also beating the gimmick of bubble. Now it's not quite the same. In my opinion. Because after Squeezer got nerfed. Uh, after Squeezer got nerfed. And it's not. It's not bad per se. But it's usage rate. Definitely decreased. But. 
since Neo's Splash didn't get nerfed, no one's opinion of this gun, or like, no, not no one, but like, I very rarely have I seen people's opinion of this gun change. It's still just Neo Splash 2 Frontline Pencil. I don't think that's the way, to be honest. In my opinion, Neo Splash just exists to enable guns that, one, don't need help, and two, actually just cannot paint at all. Okay. Like here, why was it a part of the bucket comp at first? Bucket was just played anyway because it's it's just the best. It's just like the most versatile front line. But it was there to beat bubble. And then it happened to also enable the squeezer. And I don't think people really got that point. Really. I think okay, some people understood, but I think obviously some people didn't. Because they continue to pick this weapon with everything. I think this weapon is here to enable 52. Squeezer. You can still play Squeezer. It's not terrible. It's not the best do everything gun that it was. And rollers. You could also say to an extent Decavitator, but that weapon's. A bit too new and I don't want to get into it because it's like good but I don't know how good it is I'm a bit unfamiliar with it and I don't like talking about stuff I'm not familiar with I don't get bad information out but this is what I think Neo Splash is just for simply to enable these guns now, what do all of these guns have in common like I said earlier they beat everything in terms of they don't need help they're not like it's not like Range Blaster, where it's dealing damage to people, and something is cleaning up the damage, so it's getting a lot of one-shots, or like, you know, obviously Range Blaster can be wrecked. Uh, but these things did work together, to be honest. Uh, these things worked together before it got nerfed, and now, before Range got nerfed, and now Range needs other stuff to help its damage. So it was a part of this group, and now it's not. Now it's a bit more fair. It's not... A do everything weapon now like squeezer was where ranges aoe was just like a bit too much it's too overbearing so all you had to do was paint for it and it would just solo the entire lobby oh range is a bit more streamlined its comps are usually like whatever it's seeing success recently it's like red pens out bucket it's just getting enabled by like cloud and like double aoe stuff it's not really picked solo alone there aren't that many range players to begin with, so maybe it has other stuff. I'm not gonna talk about that right now. I did not know the screen did that. I'm um, not gonna talk about that right now. <laughs> so it enables these guns because all of these things have in common is squeezer beats everything when it's set up, it just needs help getting it. It beats everything from the long range. 52 is pretty much that exact same thing, except it also paints relatively well. But it doesn't want to just be painting itself in because if it's doing that, it's not just holding some part of the map and abusing its 1v1s with its wall. Because it's, this gun is insane at just picking a guy and either making that guy fuck off because you can't beat them or just winning. Because it's wall, it two shots, it paints very well, its bullets are legit huge. Most things can't 1v1 it and if you can, it takes a long time because it's very inefficient as well. And then it pops well and it gets another wall. And this is the most obvious thing. Paint a lot. Weapons that don't paint at all. And they sharp. You strike in your roller. You help your roller succeed. So why do I think this doesn't work anymore? This why is coming from a bucket player POV. But I'm tired of seeing it. Because I think it's bad. Why do I not like this? Oh, I think that this is bad. I think people are forgetting, or forget sometimes, that Bucket, while it is probably the most popular frontline, the most used, it's been good for like the longest time. 
it's been good since Machine got nerfed. It's not a do everything weapon. In terms of or like it is a do everything weapon. Let me let me explain. It fights well. It paints decently. It has a good kit. It wants to use said kit. That's but it's not the special is not very synergetic with the weapon. Let's get that out of the way. Where this gun is typically playing and where it wants to use its special are two very different things. All right. But also, it's not extremely mobile. It doesn't one-shot. This weapon does everything well. But it's not, its stats aren't maxed out in doing one specific thing. And that's where I think the disconnect between this gun and this come in and why it works with these three things. This weapon is just painting maxed out. It just paints. It paints, it throws more bombs, it throws strikes to get its teammates in. And it paints more after. These guns are killing guns maxed out. This thing doesn't paint at all. It just insta beams you across the map. So it doesn't have to worry about painting at all because the Neo Splash is doing its entire job for it. This thing. Yeah, this might just be OP. I'm not gonna lie, straight up. <laughs> It paints and it kills extremely well, but it doesn't want to be painting to help itself get in always because it has a wall, right? It doesn't can't it's can't set itself up as well. You set it up and then it's unbeatable, right? Because it just takes forever to get it away. Because now it can paint for itself in this area around its wall, behind its wall. It can't get itself in because wall wall is designed. To put a barrier between you and your opponent. You can't cross the wall. Whereas most things. You'll just get bombed. You're just deciding that this is my space. And. I'm going to hold it forever. And 52 does that extremely well. But it has to get to that point in the map first. Like take for example. My diagram's going to go away. That's fine. <laughs> take for example. Ink blossoms. If you can help your 52 get set up here, it is extremely hard. Extremely difficult to get rid of it. Alright. Now, it may be hard for the 52 to get here alone because it has to flank. Maybe it has to pass, flank through bottom left. And maybe it has to come here out of spawn. And you can like fight this from high ground, you can stop it from climbing up this block. You can kind of like watch it from you can watch from top mid, you can watch from here if it wants to drop. So that's like slightly difficult. You can just try to run through zone. But again, you have to deal with people maybe top mid fighting you, you have to deal with people watching here and there. But when you have a weapon like you splash on your team, that's whole idea whole identity is i'm gonna be somewhere like here and i'm gonna paint for you oops i'm gonna paint for you and throw strikes there's three of these i'm gonna strike the zone strike there strike there strike there and then you can just drop wall, and you can just go here, because they have to fight the strikes. And now you can get in. Again, for oversimplification, but if your entire, like, the strong suit of your weapon is just, once you're in, it's hard as fuck to get you out. Because your weapon just has a fuck ton of sustain, because of wall, and it kills extremely fast. 
obviously this is a great pair because this is all you need to succeed. You just need this paint. And once you have paint, you're kind of golden. You do everything else well enough yourself. And I don't think that's the same for a lot of other weapons. Lucky. Like, Range Blaster is strange, but honestly, a bit like range. Like, fuck it. Like, range. I. Damper is a bit weird because dampers are peace. Like, fuck it. Like, range. Okay, because these weapons. This weapon. This weapon. I'll say stamper, but kind of not really, because this is probably still, or this is still just like the best main gun. This is probably in territory of where it does fucking everything still, but it's just hard. This weapon is 70 damage, and it's slow. These weapons are defined by, they're kind of slow. They do big damage numbers. This is 50 to 70. But it's slow. This is thirty five or seventy. It's not slow per se, but it does have these defining damage numbers. It doesn't insta kill you. I mean, it can if it's like obviously if it melee's you, it insta kills you. You can get comboed pretty fast. That's the word I want to look for. I want to look at right now. Combo word. These are combo weapons. All of these guns. They love playing with things that make this 70, this 50, maybe not 50, but these 70 damage numbers equal. And Neo Splash, outside of its bomb, which. Everyone, everyone that's anyone that is intelligent is probably playing one cell bomb defense, so that doesn't happen. I don't even know how much damage Splash does, I'm not gonna lie. I know it's not fucking 30, though. <laughs> I think it's like, I'll literally check, but it's not, it's not 30. So this is 30 outside radius. How much is Splash? I need to turn on my game, to be honest. I literally don't know. Cool. 28. It's 28. I am mean, be asking. Okay, it's a ninety-eight damage. Surely that's fine. No, it's it's literally not because bucket. If these weapons sometimes they struggle or like they lose out on kill opportunities because one sub of bomb defense makes the damage go from a hundred insta kill to like what like ninety-nine point something or some shit. Then this isn't comboing either. And also, again, as I mentioned earlier, this weapon is maxed out on painting. It does not fight. I don't think. Playing these things together, I think there's like a disconnect, or there becomes a disconnect. When you're playing in a comp like this, you have pencil. You have pencil. You have range blaster. You have Neo Splash. And you have... These two guys are obviously playing off of each other very well. Alright, in the front. But... This thing... It's not really doing much for either of them outside of just painting. And, yeah, that's... It's needed. But... It's not, it doesn't feel like it belongs to me. Like this thing, if it hits something once, both of these guns are going to insta-kill off of it. 
because that's just like they just have high damage numbers. They shoot once, they're fairly they're slow weapons, but they deal a lot of damage all at once. This is just here to paint. I don't think that these things mesh necessarily well. And then once you look at you start looking at specials as well. Okay. We have two sets of strikes. Okay. It paints well. It's not doing much outside of that though. If we're fighting bubbles, then yeah we'll break bubbles. But Unless we're fighting Roller or Decavitator, we're not fighting Bubbles anyway. And only this thing paints well. Again, I mentioned Pencil, but I remember what I said about how Pencil paints. It doesn't just paint the entire map. It just holds a spot. This thing is painting the entire map. So this thing's painting the entire map. And if other things slow down, like Bucket does everything well, as I said before. If this thing slows down and also paints with the Neo Splash, who's helping this guy in front? If the bucket needs to slow down for some reason, who's helping the range? Well, if the range needs to slow down, who's helping the bucket? Certainly not this thing. This thing's not helping in any fights. It doesn't want to fight. It doesn't fight well. It's only here to enable things that don't need help at all. Because they just insta win by themselves. Like Roller, like Squeezer, like 52. Those guns don't need help in engagements. You set them up, Roller literally is a weapon that it doesn't have engagements. It doesn't fight. It either kills you or it gets found. Squeezer, it's pretty similar, but from a longer range. It either kills you. Or it does it, and maybe it gets overwhelmed by like specials or like people are rushing it at the same time. But it's not killing you because it has like cooldown. It's killing you, or it's not killing you because the guy missed. With a bucket, I can have perfect accuracy versus a cooler 52. If he gets, if I'm not positioned like properly, or if I hit the guy once and no one else can finish the damage, he'll just kill me faster. Same with, like, range. If you get surprised on these guns, you just kinda die. Well, that shit is circumvented by the damage combos that I mentioned before. If I can just bait someone, and I can hit them 70, and I have, say, a normal splash on my team instead of a Neo splash, this guy can just throw a burst bomb and, and that guy's instant. Or my pencil, if I got if my pencil hits someone, my new my splash can just throw a burst bomb. The guy's just dead. And now I no longer have two strike. This comp has no killing specials, no controlling specials that last for a long time. The original comp, the squeezer, it did it didn't get it that often, or like as often as other guns. But maybe your squeezer is getting like four zukas per game. But it also didn't matter, because this is fundamentally different. Now this thing just paints, and this just holds a spot. Because it's just great at that. So this weapon is just being shoved into comps lately that I don't think it belongs in anymore, because it was good for so long. But I only think it was not... It's, it's not that it's bad. But each support shooter, if you want to call them that, I think they just fill, they switch with your front lines. Whatever front line performs best with them is what needs to be played. And not just a one size fits all type of thing. Right? Because, obviously, as I said before, Neo Splash is good with the roller. It's good with Squeezer. It's good with 52. Because those guns, they don't need anything else. The great synergy between them is if you let me, if you provide the tools I need to take over the game, I'll just win it alone. And you can say the same for other front lines, but the tools that they need are different. 
bucket and stamper don't just need i'll just say bucket right now bucket doesn't just need paint paint is fine bucket paints well bucket can get fucking 16k or 1.6k paint per game every match if it wants like there is it strikes it's fine because it has to play more supportively to use its strikes anyway so then what does bucket need bucket likes other guys that can fight other things that are damaging well things that i can switch out with and it doesn't have to only front line at some point maybe it doesn't want to be up front maybe something else can be in front and bucket does 70 after because it can just clean up with like 70 dead because again it's not just mobile there. so then there's splash splash and bucket are perfect you one shot off their burst bombs you don't one shot off their gun but it's different because you know this burst bomb just fundamentally changes the way that any weapons play uh, you one shot off their burst bombs you one shot off their crap there is there's kind of blaster but uh, i'll mention blaster in a second then there's stamper stamper does the same thing stamper and blast have been like an amazing duo since like the beginning of the game i feel like i don't really have to explain that if stamper combos off its own burst bomb the more burst bombs are in a match the more that that happens uh crab is also insane because you're dealing you can help a stamper zipcaster from so far away without being able to risk to yourself because stamper suddenly starts zipping across the map then you have crab and now they have to deal with the guy behind but they have to deal with a mech tank in front of them it's just like it's amazing synergy for only two specials you use that is fairly hard to deal with and if you get 30 by the crab you're gonna get 70 by the stamper there's even stuff like this is why i didn't want to mention uh range yet because range is usually played with the red pen stuff red pen bucket so there's stuff like range which the cloud from red pen i probably have to put it here to be honest for just for visual sake even though it's you can assume that either of these two things at the top it's splash plus the respective anchor of either blue pencil or head and then there's that there's a there's red pen with range and the cloud keeps the range blaster in for longer it lets the range blaster one shot off of the cloud damage zap does 30 damage and not 28 so like if the range does hit 70 damage it will combo off that you have two suctions in this comp and like yeah you still don't have kill specials here as opposed to where you would have them with neo splash but the whole point of this is so that the pencil can be more aggressive to deal damage to deal damage for these guys more often than a blue pin would because it's being a bit more central and playing for its cooler and just playing to give jumps that's the job of the end zap here instead and like you could say oh can't you do that same thing with neo splash blue pencil you could try you you could in theory yeah but usually you want your cooler gun to be the most defensive guy because you can give jumps best because you're giving jumps to cooler you're staying alive the most for cooler if your neo splash is backline we're playing the most defensive position on the stage and your blue pencil isn't with the job in mind of dealing more damage for the range in the bucket then suddenly you're in more position to die and if you die on cooler that's very bad if you get fought with cooler and you don't have your own and you lose said fight that's where you start to get snowballed this comp circumvents that avoids that entirely or not entirely because that was kind of easy to kill sometimes this comp avoids that by letting this thing play more passively and this thing deal more or deal damage with the other guys and the cloud keeps them in for longer so like these things get displaced fairly easily from time to time because again they're slow they have to jump out they have to go back they have to retreat if things get too messy in front because they don't paint well for themselves but cloud stops people from approaching into these weapons because if you take too much damage from cloud then you'll just get one shot by them and there's the cloud healing effect stuff but like i 
cannot tell you how many times in a match that actually ever mattered. But point B, this weapon, I think, is too popular. And I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying, usually comps succeed the most. You can also put duty here as well instead of normal switch. Usually comps succeed the most when they have an idea behind them. An idea or a strategy that maximizes on every weapon or like everyone's weaknesses and strengths. And I think at some point along the lines, we kind of forgot that for Neo Splash. And we just saw it as this all encompassing, I belong in every team comp weapon. And I personally just don't think that's the case. I'm kind of tired of seeing it. I'm definitely tired of playing it because it just doesn't feel great. To play around and that that really was the motivation <laughs> for talking about this but yeah people were asking for squeezer in my comments but i was like oh, if i talk about squeezer i have to talk about neo splash and then i get to rant about neo splash because i've been wanting to do that for a while so yeah eldr not picking neo splash in every single comp pick it in a comp that's strong with there's like five other supportive or supporty like shooter dually type weapons and they definitely just do better with other stuff. I mentioned the spotter shot because I said have like a reason to. Spotter shot obviously it's good versus like crab and stuff. Cause uh Zika blows up the crab. If you're playing like bucket stamper and you kinda don't need other stuff, maybe spotter shot's good there. Maybe like bucket fifty two spotter shot. It's it exists. That's more of a. This is good outside of. It's better outside of zones than it is in zones because when Zuka can kill the objective, it's great. Um. It's also Zimmy. <laughs> but this is one of those weapons I don't feel qualified enough to talk about. I gotta think about this more. So uh, maybe I'll talk about Zimmy another time. And just like other bubble stuff as a whole. But uh, actually, no, no, I won't talk about that. Else. I'll say it right now, actually. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> Every time I see Zimmy, it's usually paired with like a second bubble. Pitch. I see Zimmy decav a lot. I don't know how I feel about this double bubble stuff because if one bubble. Neo Splash is going to be picked to be one bubble. And I think then that's the only time, honestly, this is the only time I like Neo Splash and Bucket at the same time. Because, like, you can forego the reasonings or the stuff that I just explained in the last however much long I've been talking. Uh, you kind of just break their bubbles and now they can't play. Because now they just have weapons and they don't have specials anymore. So they're fine. You can also pick Pizza. I know people hate T-Tech, but like, I swear T-Tech can bucket at the same time if you're fighting like stuff like this, not, and you don't have like a squeezer, because you don't need to paint the entire stage, like religiously, uh, I promise it, I think it's fine. You still have bombs in your comp, you still have strikes, you still have decent paint, you don't need to paint, like if you play like here, like I said, you don't need to like overpaint because you don't have weapons that legit just struggle and fall apart when they don't have the entire map that's painted in their color. So, yeah, that's it. That's, uh, I just wanted to talk about why I don't like Neo Splash. Uh, I think it's a bit overrated. Not because it's bad, but please stop treating it like a one-size-fit-all weapon. Uh, if you got this far, thanks for watching this ramble. Uh, if you want more stuff, honestly, give suggestions. And uh, yeah, that's it.